Welcome to my world. marinara alfredo with pen. You're going to need diced tomatoes, pen, an onion which I chopped up with my dough cutter here. You're going to need alfredo sauce, a marinara, garlic salt, black pepper, and I have ground beef defrosting in my microwave. I'm going to throw the onion on the skillet with the ground beef and get that cooked up. I am going to boil these part way so it cooks perfectly within your casserole dish. Depending on the size of your family is what you're going to need. You can do this with either turkey or sausage as well. Before we throw the onions on the skillet and the ground beef finishes, we're going to get the water going on the stove top. Got my big stock pot. I'm going to fill it up about three quarters of the way full and a pinch of salt and a splash of oil just to get them cooking and so they don't stick together. We'll place this onto high heat. This will be a double burner cooking video. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out and clicking on my link. This is some of the cooking shows that we do cook with me. We also do Dollar Tree dinners. I like to work with five ingredients or less, sometimes a little more. It all depends on a recipe idea. Look for that subscribe button and smash on it. That is perfect. We're going to get it over to the stove top. I'm just going to move the Dutch oven out of the way. Because we won't be using it today. I have a lot of Dutch oven meal ideas. I love the Dutch oven. It comes clean every single time. I want the water going around the same time as you're browning your beef. Because it's going to take longer. Get that turned on to high heat. Always make sure you put your correct burner on. The beef is ready to come out of the microwave. I'm going to get the, your skillet turned on right to front. I'm going to start with medium heat. I already put a light spray on it. Go ahead and drop the onions on to your skillet. I scored this for free. It was after all the garage sales this past September. Just don't want that onion smoking up the kitchen. My alarm, fire alarm is my biggest fan sometimes. I put a little bit of oil into that water. Flash of salt and a little bit of cooking oil or extra virgin olive oil, whatever you have. Or even butter. Perfect. Let that come to a full boil, or my mother always said a raging boil. If you have the Supreme from Dollar Tree, that will work too. Alright, now we're going to get the ground beef on to the skillet. These are just hamburger patties that I picked up. Stay on a budget. And you're going to break them up. I went and I defrosted it so I can work with it. It is 8 ounces. You can do 16 ounces, which should be two packages. Let that cook for a couple of minutes. We're going to add a little bit of oil on it, like about a teaspoon. And a splash of salt. I'm 
the holidays are coming and you're looking for ideas to serve for your family for days that they stay longer than Thanksgiving or even Christmas. And this is a great meal idea. A few ingredients and it's going to feed quite a few. You can do brown sausage as I mentioned or turkey or turkey sausage. This is what I had available. I'm going to get the heat turned up a little bit more. A one man show here. I'm going to just make sure beef all the way because it's going to go into the oven. Once the onions and beef are cooked and combined. I'm going to add the garlic salt. A couple of teaspoons. Always to your taste. And a couple of teaspoons of the black pepper. Again, always to your taste. Keep an eye on the heat. That's starting to come to a slow boil. It's going to start grill, grilling around the sides. We do giveaways at 100 subscribers. We're giving away gift cards. Two of them, Amazon, eBay, Burger King, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, Walmart, and Dollar Tree gift cards. $10 amounts. If you're new, you've got to comment in order to qualify. You need to be subscribed and a U.S. resident. We're not responsible for lost or stolen prizes through the mail. We're looking for three people to give out a five items price pack from the Dollar Tree, valued at $6.25. We have a prize vault video called Let Us Eat Prize Vault, where I go over all the prizes available for you to choose from. My email is countryboots1268 at yahoo.com. This is browning really nice and it smells incredible. Love the smell of onion. I did a medium sized diced on the onion, so however you feel, you can mince it, whatever you feel like. This is about as brown as I want it to get. It's going to cook the rest of the way into the oven. Just going to let this simmer. Turn it all the way down to low your heat. I'm going to grab the Barilla Pasta. Whatever type of pen you have is perfect. I only bought these by the case. They shrunk the size down to 12 ounces, but that's fine. Because I always have way too much pasta on hand. And this is going to be perfect for the dinner with the beef and the onions. It's going to stretch that beef. You should smell this. It smells amazing. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. It's 14.5 ounces. They're organic valley diced tomatoes, same as the Hunt's. We're going to pop the top and we're going to put the entire can onto the skillet while we're waiting for the water to finish coming to a full boil. Love to find recipes I've never done before and tweak them and make them come in to five ingredients or less or sometimes a little more. You want to stretch that dollar further to give you more bang for your buck to save you money here at Let Us Eat. With cleaning, cooking, frugal shopping, Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree dinners, and crafting. And we also do reviews from Firm Great Value Products and Dollar Tree Foods and other products Dollar Tree sells. So this is looking fabulous. And that could also be a great taco starter for tacos. That water is at a full boil. Look at it go. And dump your pasta right on in. Again, you can put whatever type you want in. And we're going to stir it a few times. And we're going to transfer that beef mixture to a casserole dish. Make sure you stir. It's already starting to stick. So make sure you stir. And leave the spoon right over that. Turn the heat off on the skillet and get the casserole dish ready. Your oven should have been preheating at 350 degrees. 
go ahead and spray your dish light coat I went ahead and made sure the jars were open so you can see that dish I'm gonna grab the skillet always be careful around a hot stove this is such a great find our garage sales in September are community-wide ones after a certain time during the day, the items go free. That the people don't want to let it back into their home. And I love that part. We always get really great buys and finds. We can talk items down. I got a really nice cooler on wheels with one of those long handles. It's awesome. You're going to spread that beef throughout the casserole dish. Uh, pasta is going to cook about eight minutes. So it's not all mushy. And that way you'll finish cooking in your oven. Perfect dish for the holidays to break up the monotony of the ham and the turkey or whatever you're serving. Drain it into the colander, but you're not going to rinse it. You're going to leave it as is once it's in the colander. And then we're going to place it into the casserole dish. Nothing stuck to the pan. Awesome. Or the pot, for that matter. You're going to take your colander and place it down. It doesn't carry a lot of pasta anymore. I've seen lasagna or Kraft macaroni and cheese there. So this really can't be too much of a Dollar Tree friendly meal anymore. Or you can buy it on sale. Just take your Alfredo and pour all over. I picked up the Alfredo sauce at BJ's. And you're gonna take the marinara. Oh, almost the whole jar. About three quarters of it. Now go into your preheated oven, 350 degrees, for about 25 minutes. You want to make sure that the pasta is fully cooked, and the beef and the sauce is going to be all nice and bubbly. And you can put a layer of cheese if you wish. I have some mozzarella, so let's put a layer of cheese on it. The rest of my Berkeley Jensen cheese from BJ's. It's like a Costco's. We're going to cover it with foil. This is a great meal that you can plan ahead and have it ready in your freezer and thaw it and cook it. about a little under half a cup of cheese. Place it into the oven with foil. It's going to be a loose fit. You don't want it tight. Always be careful in the oven. Slightly grace my hands. 15 minutes covered and about 10 uncovered. Now I gotta clean up the mess here. Get out of the oven and I'll show you a close up and some on a plate. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing in here. Love Italian food. I found this looking through all recipes and Pinterest. And I saved the meal idea to my clipboard. 
on my keyboard. And now that I've made it and walked through it, I have the recipe memorized. Let's remove the foil. And you should let it cool for a few minutes too. Remove that foil. I burnt just quite a bit of foil with the holidays coming. Perfect. That cheese is optional. It's like a three cheese marinara Alfredo bake. Look at how beautiful it is. Let's zoom in. I want to cut into this. If you're new, don't forget to smash on that subscribe word. All the information for the giveaways are listed below. Thank you everybody for your continuing ongoing support. We got a bead necklace with a horse on the chain from a fan. I can't pronounce the name. Or if it was my daughter ordered something online, she got it on occasion when she's got allowance. But if any of you guys sent me a really pretty black bearded horse, thank you so much. It was beautiful. And Jane, again, thank you for the egg holder that I've been searching for. The cheese part is totally optional on the top, as I said. Here's what it looks like. Serve it with a nice salad and garlic bread, and you have a great dinner, or even green beans. Look at a Cook With Me playlist for more great meal ideas, five ingredients or less, sometimes a little more. Go ahead and serve this with garlic bread and a salad. It'll be absolutely perfect, even green beans. That came out wonderful. The top cheese, again, is optional. Don't forget to check out my playlist down below, Cook With Me, for more great two-ingredient dinners.